Welcome to my vlog. The main picture is a male Kowati. Bottom left is white faced Capuchin monkey. Centre is Limpkin. Bottom right are red or rather scarlet macaws. So again, welcome to my wildlife watching vlog. This is all about my trip to Palo Verde on the west coast of Costa Rica. And you can sort of see where everything is from how it's popping out of the map. I'm going to be using English pronunciation all the way through here, so I, I know I'm a bit off on some of this. But I know that for a lot of English speakers that actually makes it a lot easier. At least that's my excuse. So we just saw a view of the lake at Palo Verde. Palo Verde, it's a national park, it's a wetland area. There's a research centre there for scientists and kind of associated with that they scaled it up a bit so that there can be accommodation for general visitors as well who can also eat at the restaurant and stuff. It's kind of an eco-lodge but very very basics. But the wildlife I think is amazing and it gets good reviews from other people as well. This is a limpkin. I'm up early in the morning hence it looks a bit orangey. That's actually the sort of early morning light. So it's just caught something there. I often record for a bit longer with my camera and then I just trim down to the bit that's interesting. So when you're watching my videos, this is a northern jacuna. When you're watching my videos you can get the idea that wow these birds are feeding all the time and it's amazing and you keep seeing them catch fish. It's like well because I've kind of edited it down a bit. So we're going to see a close-up of the northern jacuna in a moment. Uh, and I guess while we're doing um, behind the curtain of my um, vlogs. This is, I'm re-recording this audio. Uh, these are two white ibis. Again, this is a bit more, this is like the most interesting section I could find of the video video I took. Yeah, um, so I edited it through and put my voiceover over and decided, yeah, it didn't quite work. It's funny because when you're recording the audio, you know, I, I'm, I'm in a room on my own. And I have to try and remember that I'm speaking to somebody, and sometimes if I kind of lose track of that, the voiceover can sound a bit strange and a bit dull. Oh, exciting! This is a green heron. Watch. Whee. That's rare. I, well, at least for me. Normally I just see green herons very slowly walking or standing around not doing very much. And in case you're wondering, that's blue winged teal in the foreground. We're going to see another photo of black bellied whistling ducks in a moment which we saw earlier as well. Notice at the moment we're still seeing things on the marsh. So these black belly whistling ducks are visitors in February, which is the northern hemisphere winter, so they're avoiding the cold weather further north. This is a snowy egret. And let's have another look at the northern jacuna. So, I think I collected those video clips over about three mornings, so I've put together the best bits from three sort of mornings, each morning spending about an hour on the walkway. One day on the way back, in fact every day on the way back, I saw double striped thick knee, just in the grass. I'm sure that if you're a local bird watcher, that's pretty normal, but wow, I was excited. This is an Inca dove. So, for example, I found a very good walk that I enjoyed heading west from the kind of accommodation area, the research centre. This is a variable squirrel. Notice the grey in the tail, big giveaway that it's a variable squirrel. I'll talk more about the walk in a moment, but let's keep talking about the wildlife. This is a male coati. How do I know? Well, I can be pretty certain because if you read in the book, it says that Researchers have discovered that males tend to hang around on their own and are a lot larger and the females hang around in groups of between maybe often 20 to 30. And that was on its own, was a larger one, so it seemed like a male. And we just saw a common ground dove. Now, this is a white-faced capuchin monkey. In tourist areas, you can see white-faced capuchin monkeys literally stealing food from people's bags when they got their backs turned. However, Palo Verde, a 
fairly remote national park, not very many visitors, chance to see what looks to me like really natural behaviour. I was really enjoying it. There was still the odd moment where I'd, a monkey and I would catch each other's eye, we'd sort of acknowledge each, each other was there, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be too alarmed, but equally it wouldn't be trying to beg. So I guess they're used to humans being around, but I haven't got used to kind of interacting really with the humans, they just kind of acknowledge they're there. They, they'll acknowledge you're there, but that's about it. There's quite a few other mammals that can be seen. I also saw peccary. I got a couple of glimpses of them, and I'd occasionally hear them. And then on the way back from this particular walk, I saw one crossing the road behind me, which we're going to see in a moment. Peccaries have relatively small litters, so they don't have very many babies compared to, say, wild boar. Maybe that's one of the reasons for, one of the many reasons why civilization was able to start better in Europe. This is a roseate spoonbill. Pretty typical feeding behaviour there, sort of filtering the water with its large bill. There's a pied stilt in the foreground. I think Palo Verde is a brilliant place to go. I strongly recommend it. I'll do the I'll, I'll do the mention now. I've got a blog. There's a link in the description of this video. And if you go there, you'll find a lot more information, including sort of practical information as well, and some photos and things. So you're welcome to go there for more information. But don't go yet. We've still got some more video. I took another walk on another day, east of the accommodation block. Again, partially making use of the local roads which are basically dirt tracks, hardly any traffic at all. Which is great for exploring. These are scarlet macaws. And we're about to hear a howler monkey chuckling. So I'm going to be quiet so we can hear it. Howler monkey coming up in a moment. I was really hoping to see Jiribu at Palo Verde National Park. can be relatively common in some parts of the Americas, less common in Costa Rica, in fact not very common at all. This, this though in fact is a woodstalk. I'm thinking there must be a lot of heat coming off the marsh from this bright sun. It's having to do some flapping but it look, looks to me like it's also getting some thermals, some rising hot air. But then as I was leaving the National Park I saw this Jiribu in a field by the side of the road. Whee! Exciting. I was really, anyway, I was really excited to see it. I just think it's an incredible looking bird. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out the description and stuff.